you have any questions about what we just did? Yes, Anwar. Mm -hmm. She couldn't because this is the past. Okay. She has another database like um, stars around her head. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I remember. And she managed to put it because I, and I think this makes sense because she won. This quality never existed in her past. Okay. It's a new quality. Probably not quite true, but let's let's yeah, assume it for a moment. But there was a great resistance to put it into the past. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so then. Okay, great. So you have another structure that you used. She has two structures. Right. Okay. Great. Whatever works. See the exact way to go. Yeah. Now I'm curious, what did you do with the original um, quality when we added in future examples? Because these are the past examples yes. in the timeline. Mm -hmm. What? How did you add, um, add in future examples? No, for the old yeah. one. Both the, uh, oh, I went into the future. Okay, on the other side. Yeah. Okay. And pulled them out, left okay. them in here, and put them into the. So you put them in on the other side. Yeah, I wonder if I had a system. It's like a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it becomes automatic. Yeah. Great, yeah. that's wonderful. That's your unconscious. Thank you. There's no objections, then that is working fine. Yeah. The future. And I did the same with this one. Great. Okay, so you have this. Can you describe that a little bit? What's around your head? Mm. Oh, it's, it's uh, yeah, the drawing of it. It's like stars. Each star has got one of the, um, it's got an example in it okay. of the quality. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and there's, there's room, a little bit of room there for tantra examples. Okay. Because in the original structure, there were some tantra examples. Okay. Now you speak of the original structure, but the original structure was this one. Sorry, I meant the, the, the first quality. The first quality. Okay, which you started out with this. That's right. And then when you put in future ones, you came over here. Yeah. And then you built the star. The star actually came out of, um, you remember, was it yesterday? Or some, sometime in the past. Um, oh, yesterday, yes. yes. Put the picture here, and then I had the pictures out. Of the oh, house. yes, going out like that. Yeah. Okay. And that Okay, great. And that's pleasant for you and it works, right? Yeah, absolutely. Great, wonderful. Okay, good. Well, this is the kind of evolution that occurs when you start encountering the ways in which you can vary your behavior and vary the, your experience and resort and move things around, then some stuff just happens. As long as it works, great. If it doesn't work, you won't keep it. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Good. Like Great. And you still was only left with three, and that was it. Huh. Yeah, so that was, that was. So did you make up some in the future? Uh, I think you try to play with that, but I don't think that worked as well. Huh. I didn't work through it, so. How about other people? Uh, that wasn't uh, good enough either. Wasn't good enough. Who, who are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Jim. Okay. I, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> We did try to project it in the future. Okay. And I did try to include other people. Okay. And similar thing, making good progress, but it wasn't quite the ship. I don't think we got far enough either, Probably so that's possibly why. Okay. So. Do you have any question about what you would do if you were to continue? Actually, yeah, I, I think, like, I mean, we were left with three representations. Um, we, I, I attempted to do, have more duplicated from. Uh, mm -hmm. How were, you, how were you still left with three? Because if, let's say you have three experiences to start with. Yes. So each of those you can take two more per perceptual positions <coughs> on, right? Sure. Exactly. So you should end up with nine. Yeah. Is that? That's what I'm doing, yeah. I mean, did you do that? Uh, uh, you know, Are we talking theory here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. It maybe it was moving a little quicker than I thought. I, okay. I tried to do that. I don't know if I did it successfully. Well, <coughs> close your eyes and go inside and find out. See, this isn't theory. This isn't um, 
hypothetical. You know, you can always just go inside and find out how far you got and which, how, well, how many you got in there. Yeah. You see, while your while your conscious mind is doing something else, your unconscious mind could even be pr producing multitudes of these things, like and had this thing morph into a star. I mean, all kinds of things can happen. So if you think about that quality now, how many examples do you have? Plenty. What? Plenty. Plenty. Yeah. How many? How many is plenty? Oh. Okay, great. So he's got more than three. I don't know <laughs> where, where you misfired. But <laughs> I, I don't know either. <laughs> Maybe he just did it in response to my playing with him. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, now you have so 26, 27, something like that. Are they in the form of your positive template? Uh, Whatever that is, you know what it is. Pretty much. If there's some lying around on the sides on the floor, make sure you put them in. There's nothing on the floor. Okay, no. good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you have some future ones in there? You can always take one from the past and just project it into the future. If that's something you did in the past that you like how it turned out, you can just imagine being that way with someone special or someone not special or the clerk at the grocery store or okay. okay got some more oh great okay well you're on the road you know what to do right I don't know where Ron got missed <laughs> miss somewhere <laughs> okay one thing I forgot to mention earlier, uh, when we uh, use reference experiences from the past, often we'll focus on really important ones, the big ones, you know, the very impressive ones. And that's great, and that <coughs> often is a wonderful exemplar or a summary, you use as a summary to represent all the others. But the little ones um, may be more important in your life because they happen more often. So little kindnesses, just, just nodding at somebody or uh, smiling at somebody in the grocery store. Those you can do hundreds of times a day it might have more impact on your life than that big, wonderful example of kindness that you did with a special friend and you took care of them for a month or something like that and it was very impressive to you. Those little ones may make more difference in your life than the big ones. So it's nice to have both. And likewise, when you're building one, you can build little insignificant ones. They don't have to all be those great, huge, you know, the bells are all ringing and stuff like that. Uh, maybe just all those little examples that happen day to day. And they may have much more impact on your life and, and your quality of life. Okay, any other questions on building a quality? Yes? Can you use mechanics uh, or metaphors? Okay. 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 And then from the metaphor, did you generate specific images as well? Uh, a few. A few. Okay. Like, they're not too clear. It's kind of uh, shifting or changing images. Okay. And is that appropriate for the quality? That they shift? Like it will build What's over that? Time. It will build over time. It will build over time. Okay. So your, ex your expectation is that that these shifting, changing, not quite clear things will sort of crystallize or, or take more specific form over time. Great. That makes sense to me if you start with a metaphor, because metaphors are very general. They embrace a large range of possibilities. And just as you take, uh, you can take a lot of specific images and sort of squeeze them together into a metaphor, what you're doing is the reverse, starting with a metaphor and then sort of separating them out. It might take a little time. Okay? Yeah, that's interesting. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Just say one, one piece here. You talked about sexual expression. The second one is the, is the first perception, the skeptical, the becoming you. Yeah. Sure, so because. Associated in these. So that's what you're talking about. Yeah. You can really only live your own life, and you can only really 
have your own identity in your own body. You know, if you try and take on somebody else's identity, uh, that can be interesting for a while. But if you if you're going to make it your own, then you need to have your own your uh, self perceptual positions position. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, the next step is ambiguity. And uh, <clears throat> I like to kind of put this into context by remembering back to um, your original quality. I'll call it Q1. You have some kind of a template, and you had uh, a lot of pluses and maybe a few minuses, right? Now, there's only two differences between that situation and an ambiguous quality. An ambiguous quality, if it's integrated like this, it would have roughly equal of pluses and minuses, right? That's one possibility. Uh, it could be separated. It could be into two different uh, databases, let's say in the same, same system. And these could be all pluses, and these could be all minuses. So they could be separated out more like that, right? And the counterexamples, the minuses, could be in a different uh, modality. Right? So there's several possibilities here. You could have, in the plus column here, you could have a whole bunch of small images or voices. And uh, in the minuses, you could have a more or less equal number of small ones, or you might have just two big ones. And that would also give you some sense of ambiguity. Even though the number was different, the impact on you is different, is, is the same, because here you have larger images, or more 3D or moving or color or whatever it is. Okay. So I want you to think of, start thinking now about something that in you is ambiguous. Gosh, I'm not sure. Sometimes I'm this way, sometimes I'm that way. Sometimes I'm kind, sometimes I'm mean. Sometimes I'm assertive, sometimes I'm kind of fold into myself. Some kind of ambiguous quality, and one in which your values are clear. That is, I would like to real. I would really like to be more proactive all the time. Now that's a lie too, because you got to rest. You've got to have some time, and just as uh, I can't spend my whole life being kind or loyal or anything else, but in general, you would like to be more, let's say, proactive, or whatever it is. So your values are clear. <coughs> that you'd like to be more like the positive side of whatever ambiguity you have. Now, the only real difference between this one and this one is that you have uh, more negatives here. Here you have lots of pluses and a few negatives. Here you have more or less equal. Or it might be in this form too, but again, you would have more or less equal negatives and positives. And that just means you have a little bit of transformation work to do here. And here you would have more because you would have more negatives. So that's one difference. And that's just a quantitative difference. If you know how to transform one example, you know how to transform 20. It just takes longer. And if you group them, it might not even take so as long. If they were all, all of these were the same kind of situation, maybe you could transform them all in one shot. Now, there is one other difference. This is in some kind of form that we're calling the positive template. This may be in an entirely different form. You have to find out. So there are two transformations we're going to have to make. We're going to have to make more transformations of these, uh, of, of the more uh, counterexamples that we have here. And we're going to have to transform whatever form this is in into this form. Now before, what you just did was simply taking examples out of your memory and putting them into the form of the positive template. Here you've already got a different form, and you need to transform that form into this form. So those are really only the only two differences between what you just did or what you observed 
uh, me doing and, and uh, somebody else in your group and what I'll be asking, uh, demonstrating next. Now these are just some sort of introductory comments. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and demonstrate with someone and uh, then I'll go through the steps. So is there someone who has an ambiguous uh, quality and you know what you would like to have, that you'd like to basically have one end of this polarity be true of you? Okay? I need a mic. And I'm going to take off my socks because I'm getting hot. They don't smell. You're safe. I mean, much. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I'd like you to do is follow the form. Is that good? Is that high enough for him? Yeah, okay. Okay, tell me about your positive template. It's gone through some changes. Just kind of refresh my memory. Right. The positive template is actually uh, summary representation here. Okay. And I collage over here. Okay, and on your right, so I'll diagram yes. as if I'm looking at you here. So the collage, and tell me more about the collage. How big is it? How many pictures do you have in it? Uh, it's about 100 pictures in it. Okay, about 100. And there, are they square? And tell me some submodalities. Uh -huh. uh, they're pretty much square, yeah. yeah. And um, they're images that are uh, clear, uh, kind of small. Mm -hmm. And you can take any one of those and then display it up here, right? Yeah. And yeah. then it becomes moving in color and so on? Right, right. Okay. Is there anything else I would need to know about your positive template? Uh, I suppose the only other thing is uh, that initially the positive template comes up with the summary image right up front. Right. And a sequential set behind it with edges going okay. back, random okay. access that. But it, it uh, the uh, a sequential set immediately goes over to the um, collage because okay. it's easier to to uh, pick, pick, pick and choose. Yeah, right? yeah, pick experiences yeah. in the collage. I had a hunch when you use the random access memory that you had more than just the computer analog, but it is a bit random, right? or was? Yeah, it's ra it, they, they have labels on them, Okay. but it takes longer to examine the labels than it is to go to the collage and right. just see something and, and right. pick it so out. So you can just pick it out pretty easily just by right. looking at it. Great. Yeah. So these uh, here instantly go over here. Good. That sounds good to me. All right. Now tell me about your ambiguous quality. Well, and I'm asking about structure now. The uh, structure of the database? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the summary. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to call this Q uh -huh. so we don't have to talk about the content, okay? Okay. And so I'll uh, say Q plus is the positive side of this and Q minus is the... Yeah, okay, Q plus... Q plus is uh, a pleasant image. Uh, it's uh, where is it? And it's kind of right next to <laughs> uh, Q minus. Uh, okay, so you have two images side by side? Kind of gesture with your hands so I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, there. 
a little bit to the right? A little bit to the right. They're kind of side, they're side by side. And how big? And they're both about. Okay. And do those, are those like summary images of the two sides? Yeah. Tell me more about this. No, I can make a summary image of each side. Okay. What I did was I just kind of pulled a couple up out of the out of the collage in the database. Okay. Are these two pictures that you were ju have been gesturing to are those collages then? Or they're, they're they're part of the collage. They're part of the collage. Yeah, I pulled them up out of the collage. Okay. Tell me more about the collage then. Well, the collage is this database that I have of uh, times when I uh, have exhibited this okay. quality. Okay. So when you're talking about of the, these guys out here, each of those is a collage? Is that right? No, there's one collage. One collage. One collage, and I pull up two pictures out of the collage. Okay. And one picture is a time when I exhibit the quality. Okay. And the other picture is a time when I do not exhibit the quality. Okay, okay. I thought you said there were two images out here. I mean, um, so cross this out, and you can pull those up. Those come closer to you, and they're smaller. Is that right? They're like images from that collage? Yeah, in the collage, they're smaller. If I pull them both out, they come up a little bit bigger. Right, because they're, they're closer to you? Yeah. Okay. So uh, they pull out. And each of the, one of those is a plus and one is a minus, right? Yes. And which is on which side? The minus is on my right okay. and the plus is on my left. Okay, great. And how many uh, images in this collage? Probably uh, a round number 100. Okay, another about 100 of those. And they're about equally plus and minus then? Yeah, well, 50 plus, 50 minus. Okay, now you're gesturing separately. Are they separate? Do you have one collage and there's the minus on this side and the plus on the other? Okay, no. It's one collage and there's plus here, minus here, plus here, minus here, plus here, minus here. Okay, they're sort of scattered around. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, is there anything else we ought to know about this? Hmm. Well, the only other thing is uh, uh, this does contain that situation to where people will say something to me and, and, and I say, what? <laughs> you know, okay. they, they say that you, I, I have this quality. You know, they, they say, you know, we notice that you're pretty. Okay. And I say, what? I didn't realize that, you know. Okay. And that could be contextual, that you recognize it in some contexts or when people say certain things. And, and that's, you hit the nail right on the head. Okay. Yeah, I can agree with that in certain contexts. In other contexts, I, how do you figure that? Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Great. Okay. Now, close your eyes. And uh, I'm assuming that you'd like to have this positive aspect of this quality as part of who you are. And I want you to ask if there's any part of you has any objection to this. No, as a matter of fact, it leans a little bit over in the other direction that the parts are saying, yay, go. Okay, great. That sounds good. Well, we want all parts to be go, mm -hmm. so that's fine. And, uh, okay. Now, I'd like you to open your eyes now so I can gesture a little bit. We want to start with what you've got here. You've, now you've got this ambiguous database here of about 100 things, and mm -hmm. there's pluses and minuses in there. Mm -hmm. And what we need to end up with is that those, those are over here. And we have a lot of choices on how we get there. And so I want to offer some choices, and you fi figure out which way is the easiest for you to do it, OK? OK. One would be to take all the positives out of here and, and then move them down into this uh, database 
the positive template database. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Now another possibility would be to take this whole template here and just move it down here and then you would carry the negatives down there as well and then we would have to rework some of the negatives because we need to transform some of them. Mm -hmm. Or we could leave the negatives over here and we could just bring the positives over and then transform the negatives here and then bring them over after they're transformed into positives. We know our target state is this, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll build this last. Mm -hmm. We'll do this last because we want to do the database first. Mm -hmm. So how about you try one or both of those and... Uh, Choice number two seems to fit best, to where okay. we take both down. Move them all, okay, try that then. And, and change the negatives. Okay, great, so take that. It's about here? Mm, maybe a little bit higher. A little bit higher? Yeah, about there. Okay. And just move that down into, you know where that other database is. Okay. And what's it like having it down there? It feels a little bit easier if I close my eyes and look down yes, there. Yes, sure. Having it down there feels like it's... Uh, uh, sort of a uh, a worksheet that I might use in Excel okay. and make changes here, okay, and then bring it back up here again, okay, uh, and thereby I come up with, uh, or I, I could actually have uh, this guy down here as as a worksheet I can work with. Mm -hmm. um, this is. Uh, the old one, it's still here for now. Uh, fix this one, and then replace this one with the one that I fixed, uh, and have an image of the fixed one down there. Okay. Which would be the easiest way? Remember that we want to end up with this collage down to your right. And that's the one that we finish off with? Yes. That's where we're going to end up. That's part of the positive template. Okay, uh, well, maybe, maybe I got confused. It sounded to me like you might have had it a little backwards. That's why I wanted to emphasize where we want to end up. Yeah. So uh, might it, not be, it might be easier, for instance, to have your Excel spreadsheet up here, your workstation. Worksheet. Yeah, yeah the worksheet, the one that's going to be the, uh, the work, worksheet. Work it out. Yeah. And when it's all worked out, then move it down. Yeah, that, that might, that's because I was thinking the opposite. I was thinking of putting it, making a copy down here. Yeah. And fixing this and then putting back up here. That's yeah, not the way we want. But you want to end up down here. We want to end up down there. Okay, so we that's make your the positive copy. template. So we make that's the what copy. you told me. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Right? I missed the question. Yeah, I, I heard the positive template. Okay. Well, I'm just confirming. You told me that you have your summary image like up, up here, right? Yeah. And then you have the collage down here. Uh, the collage is kind of like actually here. Oh, it's up higher. The regular collage. Okay, yeah. excuse me, the regular one, the positive template. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought it was down lower. My mistake. Okay. So that's where we want to end up. Okay. So let's just try uh, one way, and if you don't like it, we'll try another. Okay. Let's try just bringing the positives over into your positive template. Okay, now we're going to put a... Uh, this is building a new... A building a new template that yeah. would be like down here. Wherever it's kind of lower than the no no make it the same as the other in the same sp in the same place uh huh you just lay w the without having the other one there right well you just take the data out of the other one and that can go back into memory and you can just leave the structure there or you can take the whole thing away and then put an identical structure there uh -huh. that will insert things feels better to put an identical structure here okay great put an identical structure there okay. And then take the positives and the ambiguous and move them over into that. Okay. About that? Uh-huh. And then what is that like? I like to kind of check as I go along. Uh, well, if I, if I actually took them completely out and put them here, yeah. it, I, I feel like I'm divided. Okay, good. That's fine, you are divided. <laughs> That's a I got a nice split personality now. <laughs> no, split motives or split uh, polarity. Okay, now look at the negatives over there. Okay. And group them. 
And sometimes it can be useful to imagine that there are little fish swimming around in an aquarium and that they move around and they find little schools and gradually they group themselves into groups by similarity somehow. And it could be one group, could be several groups, could be two groups. But just kind of allow them to group themselves into groups that uh, express some kind of similarity. Mm. Interesting thing. Yeah, what happened? Uh, well, they're they're lining up this way and this way. Okay. Uh, kind of in a grid. Uh, yeah, kind of in a grid. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, if we're to label. Yeah, if we're to label, leave leave a blank spot here, like and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh -huh. and leave a blank. Uh, that the same blank spot. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There's there's a line up here, one and one, then two and two. Okay. Then three and three and four and four and five and five and six and six and six and okay. so forth down the line. Yes. All right. Now, do you have a sense of there being how many groups? Would you say? Mm. Uh, ten down and five across. Fifty different groups. Or fifty different elements. Fifty elements in, okay. in one in group. One group. Okay. Yeah. So they're all similar in some way. Yeah, they're all similar in some way. There's, uh, it's just a matter of identifying this guy down here or this guy over here. Okay. Uh, so they're they're similar in some way, but there's there's a, a thing about them of being either a horizontal mm -hmm. relationship or a vertical relationship. Okay. Now, is this like two different dimensions? that all of these could be like plotting points on a graph, that this would be altitude and this would be distance or something like that, that they're... Uh, no, no. no. Okay. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's just okay. a singular dimension, but it has this kind of a, you know, mm -hmm. crosshatch type thing to it. Okay. Now, so all of these are similar in some way, right? Yes. Okay. Which one is the most intense? Find the most intense one. Let's transform that and see how many of the rest transform. Hmm. There, it, it seems like if there were a center for it, uh, which I don't seem to be able to have a direct center for it, but it seems like there, there's sort of a center for it. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a very intense one there. Okay. And as it changes, these change, these change, these change, these change, these right. change, these, then they all start to... Wonderful. That's the one we want. Okay. Now, take that image into your workstation or however you, wherever you do transformation work. Okay. And how can you transform this? Using the skills that you know... Uh, Look at the content, think about what happened in that situation. What kind of resource could you add in? Uh, what kind of, you could do a tempo shift or a scope shift or plain old uh, videotape editing. And if you need some assistance, let me know. Otherwise, I'll let you go for it. How could you change that into what you'd like to have, what you would have liked to have done in that situation in the past, what you'd like to do in the future? Environment is what's coming to my mind. Sights and sounds that occur in the environment when, when this is positive. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're more attentive to what's going on around you? And not more attentive, more like I feel part of, uh, uh, well, just using a metaphor, if, if the ocean is my positive thing, then I feel like I'm part of the ocean. Okay. I connected? Make up, yeah, connected. Okay. And uh, uh, making okay. up uh, uh, 
making up the, the big out of, out of just being a part of it. Okay. So it requires the rest of the parts there, mm -hmm. but I participate, so I become a part of it. Mm -hmm. Great. So you know what that's, what that's like in the positive, the resource situation. Mm -hmm. How can you add that into the, that particular negative one? Take the same content as the negative one, mm -hmm. or the same beginning content at least, mm -hmm. and you have that sense of connection. And I think that would mean uh, being responding to cues and uh, paying attention and so on. Mm -hmm. How can you transform that into something positive? I get, I get this thing of waking up my senses. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Certainly the way we connect with the world. Uh -huh. Opening up our senses, seeing, hearing, feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, the words that come to them, like a map across. Uh, uh -huh. Sure. Uh, it's a different situation, but the same elements are present. Right. All I need to do is just recognize them. Okay. So do that. Let me know when you have that one transformed. And you might need to do several transforms. You might need to do several steps, making it a little bit better, a little bit better, mm -hmm. until you get it to where it's satisfactory. I'm going to go inside for a moment. Sure. Sure. Do whatever you need to do. Is strange. Is it okay, strange? Well, it, it probably is, yes. Um, to transform the negative, there's a certain feeling of protection that's not kind of coming across. And the protection is in the resource situation, positive with the connection? Yeah, the protection kind of comes from the, uh, in, in the positive experience, the protection is a part of the other elements being there. Mm -hmm. Some of the elements are missing from the negative. Okay, can you add those in? Oh, what I have to do is kind of fabricate them in there. Okay, sure, make it up. So you do when you do ta videotape editing, you make it all up. Mm -hmm. And you make it up, of course, out of your memories and out of your knowledge of the world and all the rest. Mm -hmm. How would I like to be next time this something like this might happen? Even if you hope it never happens again, you want to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Do differently? What would you say differently? Yeah, I, I uh, all I need to do is just trust a bit more in the elements, even though there are maybe a, a meager few that are actually there, I can, I can fabricate some of the others and, and just uh, uh, realize that the other ones are there and trust that the ones that are there are still supportive. Okay. 
of the entire hull. Okay. So let me know when you got that one transformed, that most intense one, the one that affected all the others. And again, you can do this as a stepwise process. You can go to a certain point and associate into that and find out what that's like, and then imagine how it could be better. Improve it even more. Yeah, I'm the same person either way now. Uh, yeah. So we got that image transformed. Yeah, it becomes transformed in the. Uh, There's just a certain word that I'm looking for, but I'll just explain it. I, I'm, I'm the same person in the positive image, uh, or the positive, as I am in the negative. So the negative all of a sudden becomes positive because I'm still the same person, even okay. though it's a different situation. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense or not. <laughs> well, I'm sure it makes sense to you, and that's the important yeah. thing. I don't really have to know everything about it. Now, I do want to know if the others in that grid uh, have transformed in the same way. So check some of those others. I'd start with the ones neighboring that one. Yeah, Maybe it's happening like, pretty fast. <laughs> they're going click, click, click. Yeah, all okay. over the place. It's, it's like a uh, sort of sort of like you know, if if you had some gunpowder or something like that, you know how it starts to flickle all over the place. Okay. It's, 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 okay, great. Well, let me know when it's done and all those are transformed. When they're transformed, move them over into the positive template. Yeah, they're there. Okay. And now, based on this, derive a summary image. One that summarizes all that you have here. And that goes up and kind of okay. in front of, yeah. Anything left to be done? I don't think so, except that there's uh question comes up. Okay. Okay. What if I encounter an experience that is totally unfamiliar than all the other experiences that I've been experiencing? Mm -hmm. I'm still the same person. It's, it's, it, uh, I think it's pretty firm. Yeah, so now you're, you're actually a different person. You're a person who now has a right. positive template, right. which includes all those transformed negative ones. Right, right. yeah. Well, what I meant was yeah, I, I that if you go I'm into a, a new situation, you're right. still the same person you are now. Right. Oh, okay, got right. it. Okay, good. Okay, so do you have this quality? Q plus? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it. Pretty sure I have it. 
Yeah, that's great. And uh, does any part have any objection to your continuing to have this? Uh, no, there's uh, there's a thing that it will be exciting to see how this works. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Try it out in the world. Now, I assume you started out with some kind of name for this quality, right? Yeah. I'd like you to examine that name and see if it's still appropriate. Because sometimes when we we create a we revise a whole database like this, the name is might be a little out of date or something. Sometimes the name is fine, but the meaning is different. Mm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. oh. No, it's, uh, I, I could still have one word for a name, and it describes a phrase, okay. uh, and that's still the same. Great. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, just sometimes it's different, and sometimes it's nice to update it a little bit. Right. Okay? Yeah. And uh, what is it like looking back at how you were, let's say, 15 minutes ago from your present situation? I feel like I have, um, I, I felt 15 minutes ago I, in this kind of thing, I felt like I had low competence and high confidence. Mm -hmm. Now I have high competence and high confidence. Okay. Hmm. Okay, great. Do you have any questions of me? No. Does anybody have any questions of him? Great. Thanks very much. Thank you. You can have your wire here. Thank you. Take wire. I think that needs to go this way. Yeah. Great. Okay. Usually uh, it goes a little faster than that. This is a little slower than some. That's not a value judgment. I'm just trying to give some perspective on this. Uh, often it goes much quicker. Um, he did some interesting things in there with this grid that goes both ways that I don't totally understand. But uh, what I did understand was that this one that was the most intense affected all the ones around it. And he has some kind of organization there that works for him. So uh, I'm a little less clear than I sometimes am as well. But as long as I know where I'm going and where we're starting from, we can find some way of getting there. Do you have any questions of me? Is this something you'll be able to check in today or tomorrow? Have get feedback on? Uh, uh, I think it's quite possible. It's more likely that I'm going to be able to do a better check on it though once I return to my okay. living environment. Okay. Great. Well, let us know if you get some indications while you're still here. Okay. Any questions of me? I'll go through the scheme very quickly. It's on your, it's in your machine, your stuff here. Uh, positive template and tune-up. That's what you've already done. If you were working with a client that you hadn't seen before, you would need to say, ask the kind of questions we were asking yesterday and this morning, and working with the counterexamples and so on. And then the ambiguous quality. What is it like? And. Uh, Boy, I've seen a lot of them. They're usually different than the positive template. Uh, I don't know why, but typically they're very different than the positive template. Um, then a congruence check. Do you have any objection to being the positive uh, side of this quality? Or if you were using uh, content, you would just use the name. You know, do you have any, to, any objection to being a loyal person or however, whatever content they were talking about? Um, and if there were, you might want to revise the how that person thinks about that quality. What is their complex equivalence for that quality? What kind of images do they have? And then uh, represent the positive examples in the form of the positive template. So we move those over. Sometimes I move the whole template over. 
we kind of tried that and he got a little mixed up in there and kind of got a little backwards about where he was going to end up. And I've, I made a mistake too. I misplaced the, the, the I thought it was lower. And so I was probably uh, contributing to that confusion at least. Uh, represent the positive examples. Oh, I left out a piece, didn't I? Okay. Well, after you represent those positive examples over there, it would be nice to just go through history and find if you can you and ask if you can find any other positive examples to add in. So you can do that as homework. You can, in your spare time, add in some positive ones. And then uh, step six is what I really left out, though. Um, didn't seem to matter here, but it may be that you examine the counterexamples and you realize, oh, a lot of these really belong somewhere else. These are all examples of being tired or being uh, may needing to maintain my health or some other category. Oh, those actually belong in another template. And that might have speeded things up. That might have made it easier for you if I'd done something like that. Do you have any sense of that? It really belongs somewhere else? Yeah. Okay. Well, I apologize. I, so I think, that, I think uh, part of that is, is where the kind of the good, if I call it that, mm -hmm. just kind of went and flickered all over the place a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's great. Because there wasn't, sometimes there were little blank spots there. Uh -huh. But still, they, they uh, it seemed to me, or I, I felt to me that the ones that needed to be changing were changing. Okay. And the other ones were just something that was there. Okay. Kind of came along for the ride, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. And you can always check later, too. You can think about that quality and kind of go inside, and is there anything there that needs to be still transformed or belongs somewhere else or something like that? Okay. Uh, group and transform remaining counterexamples. Uh, here's an example where there was uh, some hundred different examples. They're all in a grid, but we get the most intense one, and it goes like the gunpowder and flashes all over and transforms the others. And, uh, you know, these, these steps don't have to be in this order. This is a format. You know where you're starting, which is here. And, well, you're starting over there, I'm sorry. You're starting here, you want to end up here. Any way you can get there is fine. And if somebody says, oh, no, I don't like that. I, uh, that doesn't work for me. Oh, great. Do something else first and end up here. You know what you need to accomplish. You can get there any way you can. Uh, check the summary, um, review your name for the quality. In this case, there's, well, there's the visual summary and also the name of the summary. And I ask, you know, create the, the summary. Is the summary different than it was before? In, yeah, initially you had... Uh, the summary stayed as the file tree. So it, it stayed like this? Yeah. Great. Okay. Except that it felt stronger. Sure. Uh, it, it felt, you know, if I was a person, I, 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 the summary was a person. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, I would have given 10 pounds. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. And uh, then the looking back little piece is just kind of a cute little thing that uh, can sort of solidify associating into the new situation and looking back at the old. It's a, it's a way of kind of locking in the change that we've made. Looking back at your previous experience, what differences do you notice? It's a way of gathering information. I'm assuming there are differences. If there aren't, then that would be indication I need to back up in the step somehow and change something or do something else. And the testing, are you this kind of person? And of course, you want to know the nonverbal. And here you want to be sure, if the person starts doing trumpets, then you know you need to back up and do something else. Oh, yes, I'm this kind of person. No, that doesn't work. But this kind of quiet, yes, I'm that kind of person, is what you want to hear. It's like, you know, if anything you know about yourself, I say, you know, are you a good accountant? And if you are, you go, yeah. It's not big stuff. It's like part of who you are. So it's automatic and, and very easy. And final congruence check. Check again. Any parts have any objections? Usually they don't with this kind of work. But sometimes they do. Because we're doing it so carefully, and we're going so piece by piece, and we're doing little piece at a time, and checking it out all the way along. How is that for you? Does that work for you? 
is that positive and so on. Usually there's no objections at the end, but there can be. And I'm sure you're as hot as I am. Let's have a 10 minute break, open up the windows, and then I'd like you to, let's get into pairs this time. And Well, let's see, what have we got, three? No, we've got lots of time. You'll get more variety if you do it in threes. And let's try for about 45 minutes. So 10 minutes plus 45, 55. 55 minutes from now, I'll see you again. <laughs>